everyone today i will show you how to import local database to azure sql database first of all we will connect our uh, local database and uh, my target is to uh, import this local database to the azure sql database to do that i will uh, i will enter into the azure.microsoft.com and then sign in and go to the Azure portal now go to all service then database and then SQL server I already created a, a SQL server a SQL server BD this is my SQL server name and uh, if you want you can create another one and import uh, into this uh, SQL server now uh, I will enter into my SQL server BD now what we have to do current right now we are connect our local database now we will uh, connect our uh, SQL server BD um, SQL Server database. Mm, now go to the properties, and this is our SQL Server name, and this is my SQL Server login. SQL Server Authentication and now I will put my password right. and uh, you see in this uh, type of things you can see if uh, your PC is not allowed then you can sign in or you can do other thing uh, go to the fire, firewall and virtual network and client address this is your client address and you can add accept this client address by clicking add client IP and then it will edit it automatically you see this is the same IP and click save it is saved successfully now uh, you go to the SQL Server Management Studio and cancel it and try to connect it again. Now it is connected because your IP is allowed uh, allowed uh, by the Azure, uh, Azure portal. And uh, you see now there is uh, no database here. Now uh, you should export it, right click the record database that you want to export, right click, tax, export data tier application, next, select a location where you want to uh, save your export database. It, uh, this is a backpack file dot backpack I created already created a folder named export here I give a name click next and there is a advanced option here you uh, you can select unselect uh, some things that you don't record you think it is extra 
I can deselect it but uh, for now we will select all of them because we need uh, all things here and you can see the summary where it is saving now click finish it shows us extracting schema extracting schema from database now it is finished uh, all things are success yeah, you can uh, read it uh, which <coughs> things are done by the SQL server now you can close and if you go to your directory I put it here export this is the record backpack file now uh, we will input this backpack file right click database import data tire application next import browse it open here you see import from local disk next this is the uh, database name and that will be imported uh, in the Microsoft Azure here now you can uh, select it basic standard and you can choose anyone uh, you can get more details uh, in the uh, in the Azure portal um, what's uh, it is meaning and uh, why you should use who is, who is on record for you as my example database is very basic database uh, so I am going to select just basic and, and the database size is 2 GB uh, my database is less than 1 GB so I am selecting it uh, you can select it according to your requirements click next now click finish it is going to import your database to the Azure SQL DB it will take uh, some more time according to your database size database data it is almost done updating database is in progress importing data is in progress importing data is done okay now it is finished now we can click close and you can see what happened in the meantime uh, you see the blood connector database is here this is the uh, SQL server BD that is in my Azure database and you can check table and you can check the data right click this is my data that was in my local database all things are imported correctly now we can uh, check the database status uh, in the Azure portal so if you could scale database blood connector and pricing tier is basic that we selected from uh, SQL Server Management Studio enter into it and query editor now we can enter the password I put password okay. 
and you will see all tables views actually i have no views right now and if you have any extra procedure and you can write query you can execute query here uh, i'm writing a query to select uh, all the blood group this is my query and run it and it shows all my data thanks for watching that's all